Hello friends, my name is Shatter Rash Patek and in this particular video basically we are going to see how you can set up a web development environment in your particular Ubuntu or Linux machine and this, this actually this is my personal setup as because I am switching to Linux uh, I used to you know, keep switching between Windows and Linux depending on the need so this time I have installed Linux on my new computer and I will show you step by step process to set up it Set up, set it up for your web development. So let's see how you can do it. Uh, basically, what you do, you just start. You know, when you, this is like, you know, this is freshly installed Linux, so that's a point to be noted. And let's let's start our web browser. And basically, there are many, many, many ways in which you can install. You know, many of these tools. But I'm gonna tell you the easiest and the most, you know, good way to install these tools which you need for your coding, so that you are, you know free from any kind of tension in the future okay so <clears throat> so basically we'll start by installing a code editor you know a code editor can be any code editor basically but the most popular right now is vs code so we're gonna install that you know if you don't want vs code you can install webstorm also by the same method but it has a license uh, if you're a student you can get a free license they have a student program which you, which is actually you know, which will give you which can you know, provide a free license for development so that's information good to have okay so let's move forward and install VS code and let's see how we can do it basically there are many ways but I'm I'm, I'm gonna install it by snap store so uh, let's start by uh, typing snap store on uh, on, a bro on a browser and go to this install Linux apps using snap store once you go there, the next the next obvious step you have to do is search for v VS Code, okay, VS Code. And once you do that, you'll see v Visual Studio Code as an option in the Snap Store. So basically click on that and you're gonna see this. So the next thing is you have to focus on this green button called Install button. So let's uh, click on that button and then, okay, Install button, okay. Basically, there is like uh, there, there will be a command called sudo. Whatever the command is, simply copy that. You can copy that by clicking this button. So that will select it and then Control C to copy. Okay, that's something great. Next thing is you have to open your terminal. Then you can up, turn, open terminal by two ways. You can type Control All and T. That will also open terminal. Or you can simply go and search for terminal the old classic way. So any way you prefer. Once you open the terminal, you have to type the same command. So you can you know to paste something in terminal in Linux you can do control shift and V to copy it is control shift and C so these are some basic terms if you are new to Linux this will be really useful so let's click enter and enter our password and hit enter so after you do that basically it's gonna install VS code on our machine so it's it's you know you can see this has start, started normally so it will take a little bit of time till that time let's wait and see so friends we are back and the vs code installation has been finished so let me show you here you can see that uh, the, it says uh, visual code, studio code installed successfully okay so we have successfully installed the vs code on our machine so let's quickly start it okay so you can start it by simply typing code and hitting enter that's one way like if you type code hit enter it will open the vs code the other way is the simple good old way to search it and start it so basically the first step is done successfully okay so if you are anywhere into a basic web development that is HTML, CSS, JavaScript your work is basically almost done not totally and almost done and you can develop a site you know a static site with HTML, CSS and JavaScript in uh, <clears throat> VS Code so you can see VS Code has been opened in our in our uh, in our application and um, basically we are we are dealing with it okay so that's something great to be noticed okay <laughs> let's see what's next actually so basically if you if you if you look at it you know this is vs code but you know this is blank boring vs code and a lot of extensions make it very very interesting and very very much more powerful so if you have a web development there is one you know few, few extensions which are really important yeah so the first one is prettier now why prettier your code question is absolutely correct prettier helps you to arrange your code in a beautiful manner so that it looks 
proper and it looks good and you'll see it also you know saves your time mm -hmm. giving all that tabs to just space everything equally so you don't have to do any, any you know all of those things anymore so this this can handle all of those things so how to set up prettier in your particular project let me show you or your particular vs code let me show you so the first thing you have to do is click on install that will start installing prettier on your machine okay so here you can see it's installing 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 let's wait okay so you can see prettier has been successfully installed in our vs code now this is not enabled by default okay so uh, that's something you should know Okay, we'll, 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 we'll see how to use, you know, how to enable this prettier, prettier for any of your projects, so we'll see that. So, uh, the next extension we'll be installing is called Live Server, which actually helps to serve a HTML page live from a server, okay? So that's something interesting to know. So this is the application we'll be, uh, we'll be installing, this is the extension we'll be installing the VS Code. The third thing is, if you are anywhere into a React development, there is a, there is a extension called Simple React Snippets which you can install it's a really good you can check it out and other than that like you can see this extension is also installed so other than that like uh, you can go for uh, like this is the default thing basically and you can go for any, any other thing I, I think so you must be knowing how to use VS code this is just a setup environment too. okay so these were the extensions which I which I just installed okay that's something great the next very 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 important thing is if you are anywhere into web development and uh, then node and npm is must so let's let's figure out how to do that first so basically you have to go to a web address this one okay this is a digital ocean web address and i'll provide this link in the description below so you can check it out pretty quickly so this this basically okay so basically this this particular article will let you know how to install node for your particular machine so let's let's follow this article so first of all what you do is sudo apt update we'll be not running this this is not absolutely required so we'll just left leave it and we'll start by you know the second one so you can see copy so click like that so that will be copied and so we go to our terminal and hit enter actually hit control shift and v for pasting if you remember and that will ask for password let's give it and that's actually uh, that's that has actually started installing node into our machine. So that's something great. And it asks for permission. I'll say yes. And that's that has actually started installing Node.js into our machine. So that's fairly a small program, 10.9 megabits, megabytes, not bits. So yeah, that will be quick, I think. So let's wait. Okay, so the Node.js has been successfully installed in our machine and that's something great. Okay, so the next thing we require is NPM, which is Node Package Manager, which is es like essential, which is like the, you know, you may not, like, NPM is the package manager which all of us use. You can use Yarn also, so you can install Yarn, but I basically prefer NPM, so let's install NPM in our machine. So that's how we do it sudo apt install npm actually the commands are very easy and you can you don't even need to see it okay so basically you have to simply hit this enter so that will actually install the package manager node package manager so that requires 47 megabytes to be fetched so let's wait for some time till this happens so basically after 100 years after we are back our thing is done so let's see so basically we have installed node.js and npm and now let's verify them like let's make sure that they are really installed now you can do that by simply typing npm slash v that will, that will actually give you uh, the the node version that you have and then you can uh, that, that will actually give you the npm version you have then then you can type node slash v that will give you the node version you have so we have 6.14.8 as an npm version and 12.18.2 as the node version now that will be different for you of course you, you know till the time you install maybe node will be updated and you'll see a different value there that's not an issue okay basically we have we have installed the two very very essential part of web development that is node and npm and we have installed vs code pretty successfully now that's a huge success let me tell you now let's start by creating a project and let me uh, you know as I promised let me show you how to use the prettier now this is just a basic development setup along with this uh, you know you can add as many things as you want but these are the basic core things which you need in order to develop 
of web application you can you can you, you can go and install Vue.js you know CLI tool Angular CLI tool you can you can install create react app on your application uh, if you are into create you know react app development as I am and if you need react tutorials you can search in the playlist below go to my channel and subscribe this uh, channel and like this video if you really curious into react development Java FX desktop, desktop development on all those kind of things well this video is sponsored by me so I can say anything Okay, let's move forward. I have really flown into my flow. So let's get back to the video. Let's uh, go and open a folder. Okay, let's create a folder actually in our in our uh, in our uh, in our computer. Now let's create a folder called Dope Code, Dope Test. Okay, and basically this is a Dope Test, and let's click. Okay, basically, okay, basically that will help us. Okay, have we enabled recording? Yeah, it's recording. I thought the recording is not going on. Okay, so basically, uh, VS Code will open our our folder pretty successfully. Okay, and the next thing which you have to do is you have to let's create a folder called something like index.html. Basically, this is an HTML file. Okay, and let's generate a markup. And let me show you how to use Prettier. Okay, and let's go and like uh, do a very bad formatting. So h1 Okay, and uh, and uh, let's let's do one thing. Let's pretty much give like this tab, and let's write hello. And like that, that's looking really bad, right? So edgy double arrow, hello. So that's that's looking really really bad, right? So if you you know uh, if you f you know how to, how to format this, you know, so we click Control P. Okay, uh, no, not Control P. Control Shift P. Control Shift P, Control plus Shift plus P, and simply search for format document. So you'll see this format document, and along with this, there is a shortcut mentioned Control Shift I. So if you press Control Shift I, or you press Control Shift uh, P and search for format doc document, you will get this command. And as you hit Enter, you will you you know the first time you'll get this. There are multiple formats for HTML. Please select a default one. So simply go and click Configure and select prettier as the default so as soon as you do that your code will be formatted as it should be that's pretty dope now that's not dope because every time you like you to do some change you have to you have to go and press that key and do that's kind of hectic we want this to be automatic so now how, how you can do that that's actually pretty easy you know you have to open settings and how you can open this by control and comma now what is comma that is like after M in your code keyboard, okay. So that is like common. I think you must be knowing that, okay. So what you don't need, to, didn't know that, okay. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let's start. So you have to you have to say control comma. And as soon as you do that, your know, settings will be open, okay. So in the settings, you have to search for prettier, okay. And basically, you can uh, let's let's search for format on code on save so format uh, save basically uh, where is that okay you can see this, this this is format on save and you simply enable this now this will do what this will automatically you know format it whenever you save a file so let me show you a demonstration okay so let's you know create a really badly formatted file so let's place it somewhere somewhere here place h1 Let's do something like this and let's write test and test and I'm now going to show you the save the file and now you know focus you know control s and that's going to format so that's you know those settings are really essential if you want to make your workflow really really interesting now this was some basic uh, basic uh, some really basic setup and some really basic ways in which you can set up your Ubuntu machine for web development. Along with this, I think you know you you know how basic Node works and how you can set up a project. Those things are basic. If you don't know that, there will be tutorials. There will be links in the description as well as in the side. Or you can go to my channel. And if you like this video, if you think you are really helped by this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.